Hey, welcome back to the 85 South Show, man. I oh. am here with Carlos Miller. You did! What's up, DC? Man, what's happening, man? So look here, man. We decided to use our platform to inform our viewers, our listeners, on what's going on. You uh -huh. know, voting is, is, is very important. It's very so important. So we want to try to give some people some information so they can make an informed decision. You did. Yeah, man. So we would like to welcome uh, Sheriff, Sheriff Hopeful. My man Pat LeVac. Yes, sir. He came yes, sir. to use our platform to get some information now so, you know, maybe he could hit a, a different demographic, a whole nother audience. Kill the music. We talking politics. Hey, yeah, yeah, this today. shit real, Mr. What's yeah. going on? Let's yeah. go through some of these, uh, you know, some of these uh, asterisks by your name. There you go. 30 years of service in uh, public safety. So, absolutely. I'm from here, born and raised in Atlanta. Uh, Frederick talk. Douglass High School, Clark hey, Atlanta hey, University. What's that? Uh, you know, no stranger to hard work. I started working 11 at night to 7 in the morning at the jail and then going to school during the daytime. And over 20 years, worked my way up through the ranks and in 2010 I was appointed chief. And we ran one of the most humane facilities in the country. All right? uh, doesn't matter where you come from, care and custody and, and customer service is what we focused on. Right. And so now it's time to do, a different, do something different, move to the next platform and figure out how we can have a seat at the table and change the dynamics with law enforcement. Ten years as chief, oversaw a $30 million budget while serving on the mayor's executive team. Yes. Served as president of the Georgia chapter of National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives. What the hell is that? So that's, <laughs> so that's Noble, right? <laughs> Noble was established and, and part of the mission is justice by action. Right. right. And so you see some of the things and it's more relevant today than it was when it was created 76 years ago. Right. And that is to give us a platform. Right. In an environment that wasn't dominated by us and figure out how to train better, how to get better leadership so that we can become chiefs of police. We can become sheriffs across the country in a, in a field dominated not by us. Right. Because we says, definitely need y'all on the other end. Yeah. Especially in the judicial system. We ain't got too many of us. Represent. Represent us. You dig what right. I'm saying? And, you, and, and, and we got to really bridge the gap with just the community and the police. Now, we under, I'm going to tell you right now, the, the war is not against the people in the police. It's against the injustice. And the, the people like, you clearly see the George Floyd situation was literally just murder. That's purpose. Like, murder. I've been apprehended before. You right. dig what I'm saying? I know how it is. Put me in handcuffs, nigga, I'm no danger to you. I agree. You dig what I'm I saying? Agree. So when you see stuff like that and then the, 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 the civilians get routed up, like we got to even have that force and feel protected from y'all. You dig what I'm saying? So we know like our people are, are, are with us and behind us. You dig what I'm saying? But we don't have that, that community right now. Well, we got to have a seat at the table. Right? Right. We got to have the right leadership. And that was murder. I don't care how you look at it. Including the three officers that stood by and did nothing. Right. All right. And as long as we have a seat at the table, we can begin to change the dynamic of what that looks like. And that's why we have to focus on that. Because in every field of human endeavor, we need somebody that looks like us so that we can really lead that, right. re lead the conversation. Because they're not talking so, for us. They, at all. They're assuming what we like and they're assuming because it's really beneficial to them. Well, the, the piece is we have to create an environment that's beneficial to us. Right. All right. So I got four kids. We got a blended family, uh, two girls, 25 years old and two boys. I cringe every time they, they leave the house. They're 21 years old. Right. I cringe every time they lend, leave the house because that could have been any one of them on the ground. Right. Let right. me ask you this. Where does all, what does so much of the aggression come from between the police and black people? I, like it, for you being in law enforcement so long, like what's it, the culture behind that? Like you have to pull a nigga over. You assume he got weed on him. You just target him. Well, it, it's not, I won't say it's about targeting as much as it's about a lack of training, the lack of communication. Right. So one we of, hear that a lot, the lack of training. What does that mean? So that means that, it, and, and follow me with this, right? We follow, follow me. So both my boys are 21, right? Imagine if they can, they can do the Not one right thing now. that most people can't, and that is they can go join the police force, right? Follow me. Get trained, be issued a weapon, and be allowed to take someone's life, right? Right. Now take a look at your partners, right? as I look at my son, and I know that they're going to put him in the worst parts of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. They're going to put him 11 at night to 7 in the morning, so 2 or 3 in the morning. Mm. 
would you give a weapon to some of your friends and tell them to go patrol? Now you're talking. So, so we, that's, that's where training has to come in. We have to put them in high pressure situations so they know how to react. How does that and fall then, on the people though, the well, lack of training for the people? Well, here, here's the piece, right? Here's the piece. Under President Obama, the one thing that he created was a 21st century policing platform. And the very first pillar in that platform talks about diversity, talks about being a part of the community. We talked earlier, if you police your own community, right. then you know the people there. Right. 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 And, and so, I, and, and the best example I gave earlier today when I was talking with Ronnie Jordan is, again, I'm from here. Right. I'm hanging out on Beecher over near Cascade. I'm flying up the street. I just got my, my license at 16. Police officer pulls up behind me. You, you know the feeling when them blue lights come on, Monday. right? He p walks up to the car and he said, well, where's the fire, right? No aggression. He looks, he said, I know your mama. Take me to jail. Don't tell my mama. Right. See, I don't want none of that. Take right. me to jail. But that's where we got to get back to. We got to get back to people policing their own communities and in an environment where it's, we're working together to, to make that happen. It starts with conversations like this. Right. How many people would come in here and have an honest conversation about this at, at that level? Right. Right. It takes people so. for like you to get into a, a, a powerful enough position where you like, whoo, we got a nigga that's willing to listen to us. You dig what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody do it. What you running for? The, what you running for? Share. Share, right? Share for Fulton County. Ain't no nigga running for that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be one hundred. You dig what I'm saying? I'm so we gotta make a change if we got to step into the system because they have a right. system. We gotta rewrite the system. If niggas understand that, they trying to understand what they see. Right. That's why they're so misguided. The system you can't see a system. It's a system. So if you there at the table, and I can be like, man, I'm finna call my buddy back. <laughs> Cause I, hey, you feel me? It's just too much going on, and we can make that phone call. He gonna be like, ADC, hey, you know your folks was a little rough. I'm like, you know what? I will take care of that, but we need to come to a consensus. But we, we gotta have that communication. Yeah. We got to have that communication. That's what I was getting to ask you. Like, why is it important to you to become the sheriff at, well, at a moment like this? At, at a moment, it's a pivotal time for us. We can change the dynamics of law enforcement just by having these communication. This communication, I could ride off in the sunset. Let me be clear. I got a good pension, right. make no bones about it. 30 years of hard work with the City of Atlanta Department of Corrections, retired as chief, and people are saying, why are you? This is my community, right. Right. this is my community. And, and I can't sit by on the sidelines and do nothing. Right. We gotta be, have that voice, because here's, what, here's part of the problem. We teach our kids and young men like yourselves to ask why, right. but then we get mad when you ask why. Talk we, your talk, we, OG. We got to do better. Exactly. Because people just want to be heard. Now, that's both internally and externally. Right. And what I mean is, as chief, one of the first things I did at the city was sat down with all my team members. Right? Ask whatever questions you want to ask. Mm -hmm. But the, what you're charged with is doing a better job than you did yesterday and adding value to what we do. And so we have to figure out how to bridge that gap, just like you right. said. Right. And as, as we start bridging that gap, we know better, mm -hmm. right? So we got to do better. Mm -hmm. And we have to figure that part out. Right. So yeah, this I, is my thing, ahead. though. It's like, I feel like this is well, the people and the bullshit that comes between mm -hmm. the people and the police and the bullshit in the middle. It's like, we don't see videos of black police officers accidentally shooting white people talk every day. Talk, so OG. where is the lack of training? Are they just not training the white officers? I think the, the niggas know one? better. Like, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's, it's, mm -hmm. I would submit to you, it's less about that but it's also about fear. It's about fear. When you, and when you have a white police officer who doesn't, they're arresting somebody that doesn't look like them, right? Or when we talked earlier about when they do arrest somebody like, that looks like them, they're taking them to Burger King first, right? Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's a level of fear. After you fear. killed 23 niggas. Uh, it's nine, mm -hmm. but I got you. Oh, the other one killed, the other one killed 23. Oh, you talking about, no, I'm talking about South Carolina, the guy oh, okay. that went to Burger King. But there's more than one, mm -hmm. go ahead. <laughs> and which is sad, right? <laughs> which is sad. I'm with you, that's oh, real, yeah. that's real. But, but it's also about supervision, right? right? And, and moving through that conversation so that we can, again, train in high pressure situations and, and really begin to resolve the problem. Now, here's the other thing, and I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Here's the other thing. I'd love for, and we talked about this earlier as well, I'd love for us, once I become sheriff, mm -hmm. to have you all come sit in on what that training looks like. Bro, right? we with all that. Because then that gives you an opportunity to help us get better, right? 
because it's real life mm -hmm. and it's not just a practical exercise. Let me ask you a simple question. How many police officers does it take to take a black man to jail? That's, a, that's not as simple as you would think, right? And, and, and I say that from the perspective of- When it's not resisted. Well, now, it, it shouldn't take any, any but right. One. Right. That's what now, I train. Now, we, that's what I train. We got to tell them don't resist. That's what I train. But I'm saying well, one that's not resist. Well, are we talking specifically about George Floyd? No, we're talking we about a black man. Bunch of I just, I just need because to be every black man in this room has been pulled over and, and a few have been unfortunate enough to have to take that ride. But it, it don't take six of them to do that. Yeah, no. no, I agree. I agree. And shouldn't. Right. But they use six. Well, it depends on who it is. Cases. Depends on who it is and where it is, right? Because oftentimes the facts show that they don't have six people available to do that, right? Because they're shorthanded, right? But again, let's let's look at what happened in and throughout other parts of the country, right? Where you have people being put in paddy wagons, alive, and pulled out, not so alive. Exactly. Right. But what we were able to do on the front end was. Uh, take all our paddy wagons, equip them with video equipment, all right, that was recording whether the van was on or not. What's mm -hmm. the purpose of having body cameras if they never turned yeah, on? I was just going to say, well, especially again, one that's turned off. And, and I agree in, with intentionally, you. Intentionally, like, I, I mean, fuck this. I agree with you, but here's the thing. At the city of Atlanta, one thing that we did was control that environment. Mm -hmm. So when you start running, the camera comes on. When you pull out your weapon, the camera comes on. See, you give you you remove the choice right. of turning it off. Okay, right? but they they also had the choice before it was a gun. It was like mace and the stick, flashlights and shit like that. What made them and the taser? What made them jump over all that and grab the gun? Which time? Every time. Anytime. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and I don't disagree with you. Right. And it, it's a an escalating use of force. Right. They jump over all them options. But it also goes back to what I said earlier: is fear. Right. But you you supposed to be secure and why are you scared of the civilian? Well, you shouldn't be in that field. If you, you got all the weapons. You got everything that need <laughs> to to control the situation. What are you scared of? A nigga that doing this? <laughs> why are you scared of me? Again, again, we got to keep in mind, right? And and we're talking about most cases, right? Where you have people that are, are want to go home at the end of the day. And that's, how, me, go and, home, no, no, that's how we train, right? We train to mentally think, I'm already scared, why? right? It's not about why, it's about how we change it. That, how we change, okay. right. that, change that, change that, that concept. That, 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 this has that been concept. one of people's loudest arguments that we need more black people in law enforcement. I agree. Do you agree with that? I agree. We definitely need it. I agree, I agree. As you look around, so Atlanta's the exception. Let me be clear. APD Atlanta's have a lot exception. of black people, right? Right. But we need more more black folks in law enforcement. Make no bones about it, all right? It doesn't pay as well as people want it to pay, all right? But we need people that have a seat at the table mm -hmm. so we can do better beyond where we are. Does that make sense? It you does, know. but I haven't seen any difference in the treatment between a black officer and a white officer. I, in most cases, the white, because, the black officers will treat you worse because they overpower. It's like it's, we we don't have enough. We they like we sprinkled in, through the judicial system. Like we sprinkle. It might be three niggas over here between a hundred white people. Bro, he his his voice is he had no power. He ran a hundred white people. He finna do exactly what them what them honkies finna do, man. <laughs> You dig what I'm saying? It's a lot of people that's not really with that shit, but they can't do nothing because it's an oath, it's a code. Them niggas ain't speaking up. They like, I hear you, my nigga, but just, just, you know what I'm saying? Just go down there with it right quick. You feel what I'm saying? I'm with you. Like, that's how they got to talk during the protest. I'm with you. Nigga, you the law. Nigga, talk, nigga. The other piece, though, is, is what, what I'm hearing you say, and you're 3,000% correct. We got to change the culture. We got to change the culture. And, and when we do that from internally, It'll get better. You've been It'll in better. the culture. What is the culture? The What's culture, the culture of law enforcement? 30 years. Well, I mean, you brought up a great point, right? right. Think, think about what you said. When you go to Cobb County. Who don't go. Yeah, right? <laughs> you, you, you see what I'm saying? Right. It, there, it's, as, and to steal what you said, right? It's sprinkled. And so the culture, it, it becomes one of, of individuals adapting to their surroundings. Right. Right? Instead of standing up. Right. Until you can get to that point. Right. So is it a negative environment in the, inside the culture? Well, it's uh, less about negative and more about survival sometimes. Keep in mind, right? Keep in mind when, when the first eight Atlanta police officers 
had, couldn't even get dressed in the police precinct, right? They had to go down to the Butler Street YMCA, mm. right? So that culture had to begin to level. evolve. Yeah, and they yeah, couldn't the first, arrest white people. First, they couldn't arrest white folks. You see what the fuck I'm saying? So, but again, it's about evolving. And the had, police told them niggas they couldn't arrest that's them. That's my point. That's crazy. That's my point. And so when, when we change that systemically, right. we can create right. an environment on that. And, and, and let me give you a couple facts, right? right? Under President Bush, his last term, right, the Department of Justice put out some information that showed there were 12 to 13 uh, interactions about maltreatment on police. Under President Obama, in his first term, there were 15. Under 45, our current president, there was one. So the question you have to ask yourself is who's policing the police? Mm. In this case, nobody. Nobody. So we got to do a better job of policing the police mm -hmm. internally. Why do the police police black people, black communities and black neighborhoods differently than well, they do white well, communities? Well, I would tell you that. It's just as much crime in the white community. Here, here's a question. Here's a lot of cocaine. A lot of drugs, a lot of pills. They abusing all the prescription drugs. So, no, so they, are we snitching? You no, know they don't We snitching. No, you can see it in their face. <laughs> you can see it in their face. We ain't snitching. It's a nigga itching right now. <laughs> let's, let's take it from this perspective. And I tell people this all the time, right? Who calls the police on people? Right. Right? If police show up in your neighborhood, right. who called them? We don't right? know. There's and, always and, they no, got a call. They don't tell you who made the well, call. Well, here's my point, right? One thing we know is they didn't call because everybody's singing too loud in the choir. Let me ask you this. This is right. this is killing me. He, Talk your shit. He, 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 How he, the hell? He open. He open. Okay. How yeah, can yeah. we all fit the same description? Well, As black men, ain't no way we all fit the same description. Who is writing the fucking description? And I don't disagree. I fit the same description. I fit the same description. Black, who? Right? Well, I think all black like, suspects. Nobody no, ever questioned the lady who putting the descriptions out. Like, <laughs> Picture don't even be us. Does it ever change? And, and, and we have the same issue, right? Same issue. I mean, it is, it is, it goes back to really high pressure situations and putting people in an environment where uh, they, they revert back to their training. Right. And, and at that point, we can create an environment that, that does better. It goes back to what I said earlier. We got to be able to have conversations like this. You got to be able to and, really and, just communicate. Right. You feel what I'm like, right. but, but I like the lane you approach, but we also got to educate people on black Wall Street. You feel me? And mm -hmm. also give us a blueprint and saying that we can. Where it's like, yeah, you just, we, we, we should try to vote you to be sheriff of Atlanta but we really want you to be sheriff of a, a community. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Where yeah. it's like, all right, you, nigga, you might end up to be the sheriff of Georgia the way we orchestrate this shit and really become a black power, successful entrepreneur. You feel me? We can have a group of us where it's a list of us, but we don't have to go vote. We already know who we want. No, we gotta go vote. I mean, we all gotta go we gotta vote, go but vote. we, we come up with vote. our own plan. We ain't gotta vote no more. But that's, but that's, the, that's and, and I don't disagree, but I, I would tell you one, we, we certainly always gotta go vote. Right. The other thing is that, uh, to your point, this is just the beginning for many of us. And, and as long as we can have a conversation, we can change the dynamic. Anytime we stop communicating, it's like a, 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 a bad marriage. Right. Right? You stop communicating, then it's only gonna get worse. Right. But but you, when but when is the system gonna start listening? When when I get to the top of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was getting ready to ask you. It's in, like in all your these time. protesters, they heard exactly what the fuck going on. Like they heard, but I don't think I don't be thinking that they listening. Cause the motherfuckers ain't just like how you say APD is like we know APD got so many black police officers. Right. So if we take that initiative and understand the system, if we put our own black people or if we want, or even the people that's of color want to do something, all of a sudden it just seems like all the black people want to be police, they come to APD. If we have a whole gang of these people that just want to make a change and do that, we can start small. Like how you said, the, the first four, what was the eight. four? First eight had to go down the street to the YMCA, mm -hmm. and now we done took over? Yeah. No, I agree. Let me ask you this, what, <laughs> this, what did you do in your time? I think y'all telling niggas about that. What did you do in your time in law enforcement to, to change some of that culture? So let me tell you the mo one of the things I'm most proud of is we created the number one reentry program in the country. So we partnered with the State Department of Corrections. And I won't say most proud of because I got a couple of programs. We partnered with the State Department of Corrections if, if somebody looks like us, right? And it wasn't limited to race, let me be clear. 
but it was limited to gender only because we got so many males arrested and, and incarcerated throughout the country. Right. You know, you know you get, they changed the culture. <laughs> well, and, and this is part of changing the culture. So with 15 to 18 months left on this sentence, we became a certified transitional center. And one of the things that most uh, incarcerated folks face coming out are challenges with being employed, right? right? So we, we led this conversation and had jobs while they were in prison. So instead of leaving with $25 in a bus ticket, you left with twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 in the bank, right? You left with a job. You left with a sense of dignity because I don't have to go back to where I was, mm -hmm. right? And, and in an environment where my future is much brighter. Right. And so they still are city employees to this day. Damn, niggas gonna be and going so, to prison just to get their credit right. <laughs> but that's not an unreal situation. That's, that's, right, that's true. I'm gonna do six months, I'm gonna get my credit right. <laughs> But those, oh, that bullshit, Mr. LeBat. Oh, that so bullshit, Mr. LeBat. But, but those are the kinds of things that we were, were, had the vision enough to do. Right. And the other thing is, is really put an interruption in this school to prison pi pipeline. Mm -hmm. So every Thursday, we'd send uh, our officers over to read with third grade students. Right? I'm dyslexic. I make no bones about it. Mm -hmm. right? I leave out the, them, that, and, and change the whole connotation of a meaning, of, of, a, of a paragraph. But to add support right. to those, uh, especially that look like us, that don't read well, right? right? We close that gap. Right. And for me, uh, over the, the, the years, it was about how do we close those gaps. Right. We, cre we created a, a junior corrections program that, for me, I told them earlier, I graduated, thank you, Lordy, from Douglas, right? I went a straight A we nothing, through. right? That's, that's how we get through. We went through. But at, that, uh, at an opportunity, I had a chance to change some of that. We created a junior correction officer program, and yes, we took people through the jail, we took them through the courts, we took them through the, the homeless shelters, but we also took them to Hartsville Jackson. Right. We also took them to Charlie Brown Airport. And so as you see those planes lift off, you see their hopes lift off. Mm -hmm. You see their, their vision get a little more clear that I can do anything that I want to do. Right. But we also took them to the morgue. So this was about choices. And so for me, those are the top three things that we were able to do, including feeding seniors. Every Tuesday and, and Thursday, we I mean, Tuesday and Wednesday, we fed over two to 300 senior citizens in the community. Right. So we were able to move in, internally from a jail perspective mm -hmm. into our community. Sometimes morality has to be taught so people can understand like, okay, it's options to how I wanna live or where I wanna go right. or just by me or what am I doing to help my surroundings, like with my people, you feel what I'm saying? Like I'm reading a book that basically said, fuck with people that's around you. Damn you. If you can't help the nigga that's around you, you, you wasteful. You, you, you wasting your power, you wasting your talent. You see what I'm saying? And this is, this is what I tell each and every one of my staff members and I continue to live by it and it's exactly what you said. If anybody in this room haven't met me today, cannot use me, that makes me useless. Right. Right. Now, I don't say abuse people, but, but if you can't use that person to resource. your left and to your right for, for good and, and have the resources, mm -hmm. like you said, then that makes them useless. Exactly. And you've got to get rid of that dead weight right. in order to continue to take off and lift and be that positive influence. Uh, influence. Like, like we understand and, 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 and I understand the authority and I understand how y'all, you know what I'm saying, should be talked to with a, like, not just saying like in a proper manner, like I understand the, 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 what's the word that I'm looking for? The code when I'm talking no, to the police. You. you feel what I'm saying? I know y'all have the authority. So mm -hmm. I'm not gonna come at y'all with aggression. Fuck you pull me over for a shout, even though I wanna say that, like, no, nah, I'm, hey, you how you doing? You gonna respect the law, right? I give you respect, how, right. how you doing? Niggas don't even, y'all niggas ain't even respecting, hey, how you doing, sir? So here, well, here's the thing. Fuck up. And, but we gotta Damn. change that, we gotta change that. Because it happens the other way around. It should be, yes, sir. No, sir. This is why I stopped you, sir. Right. Y'all you know, should be talking to us like that. And you you turned straight to a slave. Ah, yeah. so in, sir, order, sir. <laughs> in order, in order to, in order to get you respect. You my license, sir. Uh, well, in order to get respect, you got to give respect. Right. And that's where we change the dynamic of the conversation, because uh, that's how we should be approaching. I tell you, customer service starts at, at, at day one. Like even when I do like community like service stuff, I want y'all to be a part of the community stuff too. Like even when the COVID shit happened, right? 
Like I couldn't call. I know the man, but like I couldn't call her. Or I would if I had your your number. I'd be like, but Mr. Lebat, I'm finna push up. I know this is unannounced, but how do I go by it the right way? Just so nobody who worked in enforcement come try to tear it down or think we doing something. I'm only feeding the community. Now if I had your support or somebody that was there on your behalf who understand, boom. Oh, what's going on? Oh, Mr. Lebat sent me. What cat did it, Mr. Lebat? I fuck with you. <laughs> Y'all post it. So if anybody here, y'all are protecting the community because we here for a good cause. I'm here on the feed my community. That's all I want to know because COVID shit just went crazy. These folks finna go crazy. So I came up with a plan to just say, you know what? I'm going to feed my community so they can calm down so they know that somebody got their support. And not only do y'all got somebody to support, look at the, the, the police officers. They not here tripping on y'all. They here making sure that who's safe. Y'all niggas safe. They ain't staying y'all. They know what y'all here for, but they here to make sure y'all safe. We don't have that connection, period. We but don't have that connection. I would tell you we take it a step further. You make a phone call like that, mm -hmm. then I need to know how to support you in that effort. So not just standing around. Right. We need to get involved. Right. We need to get involved. So I, I look forward to that opportunity. Fucking right. Uh, and, and let's make it happen. Let's well, we gotta we get folks to vote. Bro, I know shit, we're getting Mr. tight LeBette. on time. Hey. Uh -huh. Mr. LeBette, come on. <laughs> Mr. LeBette, you gotta vote. What? Mr. LeBette? Nah. Hey, 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 Mr. LeBette. <laughs> That's what I was saying so before sad. we get you out of here. I don't know if you want to take a few minutes to speak on some of the, on some of the platforms yeah, that, that you're running on, why, some of the changes that you're bringing to the table, why we need you as our sheriff. So, again, first, let me say thank you. Uh, right? It's an amazing platform. I appreciate what you all are doing to really increase the conversation. Uh, for me, it's about a, a way of life of changing what our law enforcement looks like from mm -hmm. the inside out. We can do that and then become a part of the community. So a couple of things, uh, as you, start, you talked about in terms of the platform, right? We got to improve our jail conditions, right? Just because a person has been arrested doesn't mean they need to be treated inhumanely. Exactly. Right? You look at the, the South Fulton uh, annex, mm -hmm. it houses women. They're under a federal lawsuit or going through a federal lawsuit now because you got women out there that hadn't had a shower in a month or two. God damn. Right? You got to care. You got to care about how you treat people. Right. Our job is care and custody. If you want to judge somebody, you need to go down the street in Georgia State Law School, get your law degree, put a black <laughs> robe on, and become a judge. Right? Our job is care and custody. How do we focus on that? We focus on, on that through customer service. Right? We got to do a better job of, of serving warrants. Right? We got so many brothers out here with warrants that we know have done bad things circle around domestic violence, right? If you've, had, if you've ever been in a situation where your mama or your sister has been vulnerable in that, in that space, we gotta do a better job of protecting our community, mm -hmm. just like you said. And so we have to focus on those things, but we have to do it in our communities. Is there anything in your plan for nonviolent offenders? Nonviolent offenders- that, that, that reform comes up a lot also. And nonviolent offenders is a little easier issue for me and I say it like that because I helped Mayor Biden spearhead the cash bail reform piece right we, we talked earlier and we say all the time and, and I grew up in a system that was the exact opposite let right. me be clear but you shouldn't just be in jail because you're poor right, right? you should be afforded an opportunity to justice and, and adequate uh, representation throughout right. and so that part of bail reform for us is is the, the easier part you know there's some sheriff's office you know, you get processed in and you come on out for misdemeanors, right? And what that looks like. It's now, a signature bond. A signature bond. Right, right, Absolutely. Right, right. Absolutely. And, but, but let me say, just because I'm law enforcement doesn't give anybody in this room or other places the right to run rampant. Right. Right. right? I, again, a, a great example. When I became chief, we were so oppressed as a, as a department. I had the union tell me we expected to have a revolution. <laughs> uh, well, what's that mean? You don't come to work on time? What's that mean? No, just because I'm black and I'm in charge does not give anybody the authority to break the law. Yeah, no, they, what's what you right? saying? Don't go crazy and call you. Well, no, no, you, you can still call me. Oh, yeah, I'm going to call you. You can still call me. Oh, well, I'm going to look back. These niggas ain't tripping. This is bad. You can still call me. And I'm going to tell you, you know what? I'm so glad they did their job. <laughs> I'm on my way to see. Come say no I'm, I'm going to come see. Say no so more. I say that to say, look, we, we have a unique opportunity. Right. And, and even more so because there's no Republican opposition right. running for sheriff, which means we can start the conversation in late August <clears> about <throat> how, we, how you all, as, as, as a group, want to have 
part of the sheriff's office what it looks like, right? Then I'll have my own thoughts and how we move forward. And then how we begin that conversation. Because can you imagine the platform of us working together right. to feed people, Boy, to great. educate people, right? To keep and people out of jail. So to you, keep people you out of jail. Sheriff. Now, them people that's at Fulton County Courthouse, that's in the brown suit, they, they sheriffs. That's the sheriff. They that's sheriffs, the, that's, too. That's the sheriff. But them niggas, right. like, like, what is y'all position? Because <laughs> <laughs> the police be like, y'all niggas be just like, man, I ain't doing a goddamn thing. Yeah, yeah. Clearly, you just <laughs> you have no idea how powerful the sheriff is. So I know, but I'm not gonna be chilling. Well, but to your point, I mean, you bring up an excellent point. Right. We got to change the dynamics of what that looks like. Right. When you walk in, and well, first of all, you'll be coming to see me. I don't mean from a perspective of uh, me coming to see you. Right, 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 right. All right. right. You'll be coming to see me. But when you walk in, the professionalism and the courtesy that goes along with it we have to change that dynamic for it to be a positive experience. Right. Because you're absolutely right. The fact that you recognize that there are sheriff deputies down there that aren't as professional as they should they be, be very disrespectful. Right, right. You need so to go back through that metal detector, little boy. <laughs> we're going to change that. We'll change that. We'll change that. But, that, but that's not just for you. Right, 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 that's right. for everybody. Yeah. Right. And there's no problem with saying, yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. You know, no, sir. We have to change the culture. And I am a firm believer that starts with us. It is. That starts with us on this side. Right. Because what you'll never be able to say about me is I uh, no little boys out of here. It's, sir, right. sir, can can we get you to go back to the metal detector? Right. Sir, you know, and I get to a point and this is what really over my career. This is what this, this level of law enforcement has taught. I would say, listen, I apologize. Maybe you didn't hear me, but I'm gonna need you to go back through that metal detector. Ain't no more. <laughs> right? See, it makes so, us even want to do it again because we like, you know what? I, I, maybe I did fuck up. Yeah. I'll go we, back. We'll make it happen. It's all good, we'll man. We appreciate you, Mister LeBay. Hey, we appreciate we'll you it. coming through. I appreciate you. Oh, hello. I appreciate you. I hey, appreciate you, got you coming through. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm trying to stay married. Well, we <laughs> Y'all not gonna trick me. Nah. My wife, you better be in front well, of the Zoom meeting. Much yeah. luck to you. And I appreciate it, brother. Oh, I'll appreciate see you it. in the future. Yes, sir. Hold up, hold up. You ain't telling me where to go vote. Shit, now. <laughs> they gonna be on the comment like, what happened? All right, so. Yeah, hold up. Sit back right down. Okay. All right, so June 9th hold is uh, election day. And so the county will have over 100 precincts open. Uh, you can pull it up on my website, Labot for Share. Tell you exactly where to go vote. All my social media is Labot for Sheriff. If you vote before uh, Friday, there's six locations. The closest one being Adamsville, uh, the C.T. Martin requisite, um, Rec Center. Mm -hmm. And you can go in. They've done a better job. We've gotten more machines so people can get in and out. But we got to go vote. Gotta we got to go vote. And so if you haven't voted in the primary, you will have uh, haven't voted uh, earlier in uh, March, you'll have an uh, opportunity to vote for president as well. And so that is how we change this conversation. Well, we appreciate you we stopping through, you. using the platform. You. Good I appreciate luck. you. Hope, yes, you Hope you become the sheriff. Don't forget us when no, you do. I, I want to come back. We, look, look, we got some new merch in. Man, come on, man. That new big ass jacket, man. That jacket way too big. Bigger than a you know, we got all sides. Come on, but these are the ones I ordered, though. This is my oh, side. Oh, no, the perfect side, man. Where, where they can find them at? 85 Mmm. Mm. No, what time it is to get your, get your shit right now. <laughs> People been asking about these jerseys. The jerseys have been restocked. Uh -oh. Make sure you hit the website at 85apparel.com, man. We're giving you $25 off every order of $100 or more. And if you're looking for the sweaters, the sweaters are still up. Yep, yeah, custom fit, huh? We got them in all sizes. Small, medium, large, extra large. Bigger than them. Come on. You know it. Been all right, black man? Been all right, brother? Hell yeah. Bring me in. Come on, y'all. You know what this is. Juice, nigga. You know what this <laughs> is, man. Man, so much going on. Hey, bro. Exactly what you said, but I'm prepared for that. Because at the end of the day, now I can really just go to war. Like, I, I can really go to war for a call. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, bro, if you don't understand that they might kill you about this shit, bro, you have, you are lost. what I'm saying? And that's why I think, I think we got more power now because for a while it was only people of a certain age group, but 
you was a little young probably when Trayvon happened, but you got to but see I it. But I understood. You understood. I understood that what ain't was right. going on. That could have been me. So now think about yeah. it like this. Because you ain't see Rodney King. I ain't see Rodney King. Mm -hmm. Now, now we would have had 100 people that was on the same shit, like demanding on some shit, like, bro, you telling me you, like how you even see you said it, like, they, they are afraid. Why is that the first thing that come to your mind if you supposed to be the police officer hey, and you afraid hey of niggas you protect? Hey bro, the fuck? Hey, nigga? fly. They don't see us as human beings. It's like this. <laughs> the it's like fuck? this. That's it's just like crazy. this. Roach, I, I know you fuck with Roach, but right. Roach running your, in somebody's house, they kill it. Automatic. Don't know why. They don't know why. Don't have no reason to, to kill they it. They don't even know that motherfucker. It's not bothering you. You nigga, are in space. You'll trip if somebody look at you and say, man, why the fuck you step on that roach? You're like, nigga, what you mean? It's a roach. That's how they look at us. So we trying to reason with motherfuckers that ain't got no reason. Like nigga on the debate team. Right. They say you gotta attack a person's reason in order to get them to change their mind. I can't change a racist mind he because don't, he, he don't have no reason to hate me. I was just, well, hey. Oh, we were driving over here saying, bro, because niggas saying the same shit. I said, bro. Man, you don't turn this Seinfeld ass shit That shit on. hilarious. Yeah. That shit white as fuck. <laughs> bro. Don't niggas, turn up that cockles on. I'm like, these niggas, niggas talk some real <laughs> shit right now. Niggas, niggas don't Lisa up. Simpson had a theme song. Bro, bro you <laughs> fucking up my gangsterism, man. Fucking up my gangsterism. <laughs> nah, we was on some revolutionary nah, we, shit, we bro. We still there. Like, that's just for example, like. Like the white people, they here waking up with just pure hatred in their fucking and like it ain't I got some white friends. I yeah. understand that, but it's majority of people who's got their cover up like, hey, how you doing? That's mm -hmm. really trying to be like, you ain't got a problem yeah. with it, but knowing you got a problem with it, cause you voted for a motherfucker who's part of the some. Hey, it's, less, it's less us against white now. It's, uh, it's people versus the authority. Cause it's the first time yeah. in a long time that white people been fucked up too, been broke, been at the house, can't make no money. So now they feel marginalized just like we do. It's three types of white people. You got uh white people that they like black people. White people that hate black people and white, white people, people that, that tolerate don't give a fuck. black people. Yeah, or they don't even care what happened to you, live or die. Yeah, right. it's a new The motherfuckers that care, they seeing shit now because right. they, they fucked up. They they but they they, 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 they like, oh shit, this they is happening. Up, they fucked up, but they realize who really run the economy. You dig what I'm saying? And it's like, if they not working, then it affects us. Come on. Which has been like that from the jump. Nigga, if we wasn't choose to not go pick cotton, yo. Bitch ass ain't gonna go out there and pit no kind cause you can't stand the sun too long. Right. You gonna burn. <laughs> Your skin gonna start straight up. You dig what I'm saying? So you need a, a, a need certain particular a, a group of people to go do your hard labor for you. Nigga, this whole country see, built that's, off. That's that. what minimum wage is. <laughs> Nigga, that's what slavery is. I can I can minimum wage you. I can minimum wage you to death. Nigga, I can have a whole business, minimum wage, no salary, no bonus, no net. I'm a minimum wage for life. Or oh, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you build this my whole entire land up that I got over here. I, I'm gonna take my. Never money told us what was going on. Just use our uh, uh, creative thinking. When you seen the nigga was doing some something uh, uh, unordinary than the rest of the uh, of the team, you like hold up, hold up, hold up. You seen the way uh. Billy Bernard down now. Oh, <laughs> right. Hey, 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 you know that's that liquor now. Oh, but was 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 fucking with that damn dirt. Yeah. They watched nigga was we had we had that many resources. Nigga was building shit out of dirt, and nigga was like, "How he come teach that? Come teach that to me right quick." Bro. Cause you don't have the resources that I got to make this dirt foundation become something. Mm -hmm. So now you are architect. You have been an architect. <laughs> you got me. When you been an architect, I forgot we talked about. But you been standing out here for so long. I don't know what's going on. You Wait get a what minute, I'm man. Saying? You we are all over the place. Welcome back to the '85 South <laughs> Show. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> this is talking about. You lost. My boy you can't be lost. Street. You from Mississippi? You you out of all people should know. Mississippi? Shit, they been keeping shit from y'all niggas so long. What you mean? Shit. <laughs> uh, Mississippi is the racist place. And the most niggerous place in the United States of America. Ah, man, if you want to take any state, that was you're an like, amazing sentence. Nigga. Who you think is the, is the most racist place in the United States? You're like, nigga, don't go to Mississippi. Mississippi the one. Mississippi burning. My Mississippi. <laughs> that shit sound like they still resting. Mississippi. You better not say. <laughs> I can't believe you saying that sitting in Georgia, nigga. The whole South is the same the place. That's what I'm saying. But we covered up, industrialized though. You see what I'm saying? Like it's covered up, but we know it. We know exactly where not to go. Like when you say certain cities, shh, what? Who? Don't go over there. You go over here. Yes, it's it's people who are racist because they have their own personal business, so they don't have to hire you. They don't have to do that. Of course, they're gonna show their uh, power because they are in power. This they shit. But if we had our shit, they would see it would affect their dollar. We wouldn't be over there. You see what I'm saying? And we're not the minority, nigga. They told us that. 
How can we be the minorities when everything, everything we touch, it, it, it spreads? Everything we touch, plural. How we minority? No, that was a wealth class, minor, minor, it's harder majority. For the, it's harder that was for a white wealth people. class. It's harder for white people to Don't start. get these folks twisted. Yeah. We not minors, man. It's minors hard. come from people who, who is, who, that's a poor class. Everybody yeah. poor. You it's, dig what I'm saying? It's harder to teach your kids racist values when they when their heroes is LeBron James, Jay-Z, Tupac. You know what I'm saying? They're growing up on different people that they idolizing as, right, as, as My kids. daddy hero was Red Fox. Yeah, but your daddy black. I'm saying though, right. <laughs> a, white, a white person. Oh, you talking about white people? Oh, yeah, my nigga, my oh, bad. Man. You was on your shit. My yeah, fault. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, now I'm just saying, like, it's, 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 we're getting more white people that that's seeing the struggle and the revolution and shit because that they they're unable to be raised in that way because <clears throat> well, their favorite person in the world is, is LeBron James. Their favorite person in the world is, is Michael Jackson. Right, like, right. Black people are in the forefront. Front. So we are the minority in terms of total population, but in terms of fucking. Uh, Popularity. No, listen, not, 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 listen, not really, not really listen, in population. Because everything we touch, guys. nigga, if you go fuck a white woman right now, nigga, that baby, black. Guys, guys. How the hell we minority, nigga? We, we, we are the majority. Guys, White guys. people came up with the 1% rule. Relax, so guys. If anything, guys. guys. So if anything, so if any time, any time a white guys person gets touched, that, shit. that motherfucker ain't pure. Who's guys. the minority? Guys, relax. <laughs> You guys are making some great points. <laughs> you, you're, you're just all, <laughs> o- you're all over the place right now. Guys, no, we, we on the same page. Get them guys, together, we're, we're all the over the page. place right Stop now. Stop saying guys, my nigga. Guys, I said two sentences. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they were about. Listen, guys, we're all over the place right now. That's where we at, though. I know everybody's We're on the blunt, so I can still angry. drive all over the place. Angry. I want to smoke. I know everyone's angry Get my right revolution there wrong. Let's nigga, just, I've been fighting. Let's direct this a little bit. <laughs> I'm ready well, to go. I see you got your right. You see my red? I ain't bullshit. You know, <laughs> my what? I was at the protest. I went down there to the, what? What? Uh, yeah, right among yeah. the people, watching. Where you was at? Getting it was, them. It's been downtown. A, yeah. It's been a lot going on, man. <laughs> watching, getting the people together. <laughs> Psst, come here, buddy. <laughs> Psst, hey, Psst, I'm pulling niggas shorts. Hey, nigga, looking around. Nigga, look left, nigga. Fuck nigga, look left. <laughs> what fuck you doing all that like a fly around? You laughing? <laughs> Hey, look at that. Now, listen to me. Listen, look straight and listen to me. <laughs> Nigga, like, what? Look straight, listen to me. I'm talking to the side. Look straight, listen to me. Mm hmm. Look straight and listen look to me. Look straight and listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Now, Come guys, on. there's protests going on all over the world right now. People are upset. and I Appreciate it, too. About the, they should be. Mm hmm. Because, man, this is, we're really watching death. I'm talking, about live. Like, I'm talking about live though. And it's just like this shit is every other day. We watching another black person. They triggering us. Right in front of Me us. Me and you old enough to remember where they couldn't show dead people on TV. You remember that shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like it was illegal. They either had to have a sheet on and it was blurred shit out. Been we just seen actual physical murders. But, but yeah, see, I you gotta keep in mind, you said our generation, bro. We we've, we've been around to watch all the police brutality since it's been available. Right. Since Rodney King. Mm-hmm. I was just gonna say the Rodney King shit was just crazy. Like it, it brings power to, to 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 even to like even see that type of shit. Like I'm young. I'm yeah. that was ninety. What year was that? Ninety two. I was ninety one. Ninety one when he got beat up. Ninety two yeah. was a riot. Ninety one when he got. I wasn't even born then. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. to even watch them beat a nigga trying to fight for his life just to get up and hit a nigga with the billy club and he fall again. Like yeah. what type of enjoyment? You Natasha get Harley was shit, the first bro. murder I saw on television. If y'all don't know about Ooh. that, Natasha Harley is a young black girl in New York, man. She was talking to a Korean store owner and you know what I mean? Cursed her out a little bit and all that. And when she turned around, the Korean store owner shot her in the back. You can see it shot her right in the back. And that was, that was a huge, that was a huge thing. And that was the first time in my age that I saw a murder on television. Right. Yeah. And you don't really get to see white people get murdered on TV either. Oh, that she was white. Nah, she was black. Oh. I'm, at, I'm trying to see if anybody ever seen a white person murdered. Hell no. Nah. The one guy in the hotel. The one guy in the hotel? Who? He had the, yeah, he had the BB gun. Ah, uh, yes. yes. I ain't see that one. They ain't, they ain't televised yeah. that one. Unarmed. Like that. Unarmed. But that's it. Yeah, yeah. If I, I, I ain't see that. Him. I seen the one when the, when the white boy had the rifle and, and he was resting with the police. Y'all seen that one? Yeah, I seen that one. I'm like, damn. But he went up to that nigga like a, a scared cat. But there's just been so many instances of police brutality since these protests have started from them tear yeah. gas in the peace, peaceful protests to them, you know, and trapping them in certain places like like mm, the shit that happened I with Clayton that. and getting trapped up on the roof and shit. And yeah. Then, what happened? Oh, what we talking well, about? You know, he, he was on the roof last night, bro. Wow. My nigga, he was protesting. They, the curfew was nine. 
the, in the middle of it, they said the curfew was 8 o'clock. Right. So there was a lot of people obviously trying to get home. Right. He was on his, the street that he lives on. The police was cutting off streets, um, started shooting the rubber bullets at him, tear gas. A uh, white lady let everybody up onto the, her roof right. to just keep him safe. And then they was up there for a few hours, and the police came in the house and took all them people outside, like on some real... Took like, them outside fucking, to do what? Some Nazi shit. Took them outside to do what? Took them outside, searched them. I'm sure they to look for warrants and shit. Um, you know, had them handcuffed. But you say the curfew, and we, we inside. You said the curfew. But ain't their house. And? No, you arguing with the wrong nigga. I know, but I'm saying, I'm, 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 I'm with you. <laughs> no, I ain't arguing. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm just speaking in general. I'm yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. and nigga, we spend the night. Nah, but they, yeah, they had helicopters on them and everything. Shit was on the news. That's Bro, Clayton was see what on I'm the saying? news, man. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. They saying. came up with a system in order for them to be like, it's okay to do this shit. We're going to come up with a 9 o'clock rule, right? And say these niggas got to go home. At nine o'clock, now we pay everybody. Now you gonna tell me when to go the fuck home? Yeah. When it's twenty four hours in the day, and you gonna say go home at nine? All right. Yeah, cause it's nine fifteen. I'm on my way home though, nigga. I, we we I stay out and half away, nigga. I ain't know you made this rule, nigga. At eight o'clock. You dig what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. So now it's a problem. Come on my way home, and you feel like you don't. You, gotta, you never get to talk to the police that long. Right. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? You're saying a lot of words. They yanking your ass yeah, out. You dig you what I'm saying? Here. So, yeah. but but for me to be a, a citizen and I'm paying my taxes. You dig what I'm saying? You got me fucked up that you think you just finna... But you a blitterson. Hey, can I ask you? I ask <laughs> <y'all this? laughs> you're a black citizen. I'm nigga. trying to right. think of this. I, like, in my, I don't recall ever seeing this many white people protest nothing black. Because they they're poor. Nope. Yes. They K- 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 pandemic K- has them in a different situation K- K- than K- normally. K- bro. Because protests normally end on they Monday K- 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 because... You people got to go to work. They poor KKK. They like, well, y'all, y'all marching tomorrow? Shit, I got to be to work at what 10 you o'clock. Mean, but ain't poor, nobody poor going K-K-K. to work now. So now they, everybody is fucked up. Exactly so what he said. They, see it. they poor, but they KKK. Yeah. But if because, you're a poor white person, you just a, a, a lighter skinned nigga. Because you, when you looting, it's y'all. You ain't fighting for no cause, no black lives oh, matter. Man, man. Yeah. Oh, we talking about two different groups. Yeah. I, I was gonna get to the white looters and shit. Cause well, I you talking about the white people that's on our side, the protesters. Yeah, I'm yeah. just. I ain't never seen white people. Oh, they poor KKK. Like, them niggas too. They could ain't through shit. They ain't poor KKK. I think it's because they poor now. Cause they hurting now. They struggling. They been in the house three months. Like white oh, people leadership. was grabbing a bunch of shit out of a bunch of places. Like that Target. Like ain't that many niggas in Minnesota? So they couldn't been doing all the looting. You know what I'm saying? It was white people everywhere getting shit. Patagonia. You know what Patagonia is? Yeah, nah. What the exactly, fuck that is? Exactly, nigga. You wouldn't even know to take stuff that? out of there. White people took, bro, this, I don't know. This, Patagonia? See, place where white people stole from is what uh, I call it now. Uh, this one, I, I knew it was white people looting. Let me get the some motherfuckers weed, riot and they, they looted. They smoking in my face and shit. Hot topic. Hot topic. They ain't. <laughs> nigga, they burnt down Popeyes. That ain't us. Motherfuckers hitting windows with skateboards. Who on a skateboard? Yeah, a couple of y'all niggas might own skateboards. I ain't gonna I don't, lie. I don't think no nigga on no So niggas don't own no skateboards. It was a nigga on a skateboard in the van. That nigga hit a pothole, stupid. Yeah. I watched that nigga. <laughs> nigga spray hit, paint kill Whitey on, on shit. There was no real nigga say kill Whitey. I was like, did Damon Wayans come downtown? <laughs> what, what if it was living, so- the cast of living color downtown riding? <laughs> what if it was an old nigga down there, 71? <laughs> kill! <laughs> Wait, that's what we doing, right? Yeah, it was a white lady downtown had a poster telling me some write two thoughts on this poster that that's you think cool. wasn't changed. Man, I'm like, nigga, you get this artsy crap shit. I'm that's gonna kick cool. that all in the face. Like, bitch, you put up ain't no damn poster. What you gonna take these thoughts and do, bitch? Who you gonna tell them two thoughts to? My so stupid ass song. Oh, bitch gonna thoughts. use that up, tell me, yeah, I had a whole bunch of niggas write their thoughts. Ha ha ha, look. Uh. White women been like, letting, they, white women been letting us down, bro. They they the ones they didn't want to vote for Hillary. When, when did white women ever have our confidence to let they us? They voted down? for Obama. White women helped with the vote for Obama. They yeah, yeah they did. You gonna have a whole bunch of black women coming at you? Huh? You gonna have a whole bunch of black women coming at you? Because I said white women helped it with Obama and not with uh, Hillary. I think they, they helped them get Trump elected. Like yeah. white women let I'm us down. Now the Karens of the I'm world. I'm gonna tell you who helped Trump get elected. Uh, these fake ass folk who, who ain't with the KK. Hey, bro. real quick, take that back about the black women getting on me because I know how they. All right, black women yeah. ain't gonna get on you. Don't get on them, y'all. I like my social media where it's at. But what I'm telling you is, it's so many undercover people that's put that is that is represented by a particular party. You see what I'm saying? Think about it. all these people that for him to feel like that was okay to kill, buddy, because you knew he was with a particular party of people. You feel what I'm saying? Even though he's with. Bam, bam, bam. Protected by the gang. He's got a particular part of people that's with him that he feel like he's going to be scraped regardless. You see what I'm saying? We don't have a particular part of your people. Well, we're going to be scraped regardless. Dig what I'm saying? That's what we need. We just, okay, yeah. so here's the breakdown on the shit. Talk your shit. I hear you. So, 
What we need is justice. The way the reason we can't get justice is What is justice? The, well, you're right, because the system is working uh, perfectly because that's how it's made to work. No but I'm saying we need we need different prosecution for these people because they're except, they're expecting motherfuckers to prosecute shit. people that they cool with it, like expecting me to prosecute you. But I've been working with you five, ten years on my cases that I need help with. So even if I don't work with you, I'm I might work with Fly. I work with somebody you know. And right. if I also prosecute you to the fullest of extent, I will never win another case because that police department is not finna help me. So you got to have a whole separate entity, just like in, Mini in Minneapolis now with the with George Floyd case. They got a special prosecutor on the case now. You know what I'm saying? But at first, it was about to be the homie. It was about to be the homie. So the right. black lady came in. Yeah, I forgot her name. Yeah, they, the fix is already in with the, the autopsy and all that. Yeah, the, what they did say is asphyxiation. They tried to say it was a pre-existing conditions at first. What the fuck is asphyxiation? That's something. Uh, okay. Choking. Choking. Yeah. Why they just ain't say that? Because well, that, because it's called asphyxiation. A term for it. Well, we need it's to start saying term. that. Nigga, you gonna fix, nigga? Don't asphyxiate me, nigga. Fuck there you, you go. There you go. Like, what? what? You there you go. <laughs> you knew the word. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't asphyxiate yeah. me, nigga. Yeah, the officer tried to asphyxiate. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta get an A at the beginning. Asphyxiate. As. I said a S. what? Asphyxiate. Asphyxiate. Yeah, don't go. fixate is not going to get it. It's A-X, ain't it? That's A-X. I mean, it's too much. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, they ain't going to. Hey, hey, fuck that. Just asphyxiate. Hey, that's what you call a valiant effort. <laughs> that's goddamn right. You see what I'm saying? But but uh, but we got to understand what war that we fighting. We not, Nick, that same goddamn war that we fighting, equality, we understand that. When is the war going to begin? What, what, what do you mean? <laughs> Niggas who understood, no. No, I'm saying like I'm, I'm asking you to go deeper. <laughs> oh, you can come on. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not being dumb. I'm no, no, no. Cause, cause, cause I'm, I'm trying saying. to lead you to talk more <laughs> shit. Okay, so well, the communication it. game is off. No, see what we're saying the same thing. <laughs> the world got us fucked up. The older generation. Yeah. Uh huh. I see where you're going. Yeah. yeah that Keep little nigga, going that's stupid. It. That little nigga. That is I stupid. see where you're going. Keep going. Little, you know the old nigga. They just want you to shut up. I see where you're going. That little nigga. That is stupid. Now you ain't. You just want to get. Yeah, I mean. No, but you gotta understand, like. We speak in the same language. I understand. I want to be able to, I want you to be able to go out there and speak and know you got a force behind you. I want you to be able to go out there and speak and know you got a force behind you. Not only you got a force behind you, but I believe in what you're saying because a lot of people don't believe in what niggas are down there. If I can get a, blow, a, 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 a bullhorn and get 100 niggas behind me, but 50 niggas is probably the, together. It's like, man, that nigga just down here talk shit, man. They don't, they don't believe you. We gotta actually believe in each other's perspective so our fucking movement can be stronger. They, and everybody they, ain't got to be I'm down saying? there yelling. Got, yeah, just got the, everybody mm -hmm. ain't got to be down there yelling. We can move yeah. in unison and have somebody and it's in order. Once Every he war done, got a strategy. once he done, the next person takes the float. Yeah. And once he done, the next person takes the float. There are you some might cities be the, that are doing that already. You might be 146 that's in line to talk. <laughs> so until it's your time, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up and move. Cause they ain't gonna. We, they gon' they gon' hit it for us. Yeah. Damn. What are they going to? And it ain't got to be announced. Yeah. Where we walking and when we meeting up and when we walking. Right. You keep putting this shit on social media. They'll find out when they call the news. Look, just give everybody <laughs> give everybody a password to the same email. Write what you got to write in the drafts, and they can't never trace it. <laughs> no, it still ain't gonna work. This is what you mean. Nope. This is America. It's no way around this. No, no if all of us got the same email address, and we never send the email. We write it in the drafts. I log in to oh. see what you put. Look in the draft. Come on, man, cut that part. I like that. But then it might be an infiltrator that got the password to the email. Well, that's fine. That's understandable. You trick them. Need trick them. Come okay. on, man. We got to be smart. That. It's I'm a strategy, that. man. I'm with it's, that. That's part of war. Strategy is what you're saying is like where strategy. the war started. Part of war, part of war is the strategy. And we also got to be you doing it. You you doing it, nigga. All the stuff you're doing, giving back to your community, making people stronger, it's making strategy. making niggas in the hood want to do comedy. Right. That's part of the strategy. That's right. part of building us better. Instead of when we was growing up, the the, the dope boys was the niggas that we looked that to. That was all our strategy. I think that thing. I think that somebody that's in power wanted this. Because they oh, let yeah. this fester for so long. Like, Most they created dead. a powder, a powder on, keg of just problems for everybody. Most and the, then you just you look at all the things that have happened in, over the course of, you know, the last three, four months. Yeah. It's just like they sent out the stimulus check just to, just to start some shit. Just to start some shit. You get Where y'all get the money from? Nigga, been poor for a long ass time. The country has a lot of money, nigga. Four got $500 million to give it to them. $500 trillion. Just like, just like how you said, it started affecting the white people, right? Mm -hmm. When them folks started losing their job, they had a plan to feed them niggas. Immediately. But we was amongst 
the group of people that they everybody were trying to became niggas for Corona. The everybody, the everybody, everybody had happened, to get on happened, unemployment. And what yeah. happened to Corona once all this happened? Niggas, that's all right. We so ain't gonna get into that. I, I need to be on the revolution. Yeah, man, fuck that. Yeah, Boy, man, check this out. Yeah, smoky blood, so shit get deep. Yeah, man, ain't oh, enough, bro. It's so fucked up. I got a lot of weed and ain't enough weed. <laughs> it's crazy. Don't try to take forty million people. Unemployed. unemployed. Come on, nigga. That is, it, that's more than black people. I didn't even know. I didn't even know about the recession. I knew it, but I didn't understand. You were young. It. I didn't understand. I'm like, damn, recession. Oh, I can hear Jesus, but we made it through recession. Not on the planet. Like, in America, fuck? nigga, man, what the fuck is that? No, I'm saying that's 40, 40 million? million is more than there are black people on the planet. 40 million, nigga. It's, it's more it's, than 40 million black people on look the it planet. Up. It's 40 million black people in America. Okay, look it up. That's, that's another. That's, that's another uh, 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 a statement I, I gotta look up. But guess what? We are. This is the highest unemployment rate, and it was higher than the then recession. That time, right, right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the the social media can, can cover up a lot. And we of were shit. headed towards a recession anyway, so the but shit this is like shit double trouble. Bigger. Yeah. So they right. got it's bigger like, than the oh, first shit. recession. It's going it's going further than we wanted to go, so we're gonna have to goddamn now think about it. Curtail something. Detroit went up under the recession, and still been trying to bounce back for the longest. Right. You did what I'm saying. So it's like. We don't want them folk to come up with a plan and then we still been just trying to fight the work again. You see what I'm saying? Just yeah. to even work. So now that we can work, Black Wall Street, I'm going to keep hitting you in your motherfucking face. Now that you're able to work, let's spend the dollars with each other. Can I, say, I think I, that's perfect. Spend them with each other. Spend them with each other. Cause I, doctor, I, think that's, I think that's what this whole thing is about, dog. I but think, this, this I think the reason they tried, I think they tried to level out the economy because there, there are more entrepreneurs now than it, there have ever been. It definitely is. Motherfuckers Way walking. More Niggas got big. They was like, hold on, this is getting out of control. We can't find where everybody getting their money from. Nobody that's why they doing the census they and shit. Get. They trying to figure out how many niggas in your house. <laughs> man, you, know you got a barbershop, a salon. <laughs> how many people in your goddamn house, man? <laughs> <laughs> they feel like everything in the trap. We just got to be fair, there. they've been doing the census, but we ain't been answering them, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> How many people in your house? If you don't keep fucking walking, bitch ass, nigga, we see that ass. Hey, no ac- oh, wait a minute. According to the research, according to the research uh, department, there are 1.2 billion Africans. There are 37 million African Americans in the motherfucker. 37 million. That's what I That's said. That's under 40. Many white people. That's under 40. You said it people. was 40 million you know, black people argue, in the bro. world. You know what? Let's you not did show say that, nigga. On this shit. We you got just to be all positive. We I'm just showing you my research department. No, he, 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 only, he only thought about no more black. Hey, nigga, did y'all get this camera fixed right here with Jeff one that had these looking like this all the time on the motherfucker? The glitching. Now that was because we was doing a live stream. Oh, okay. That shit was tripping me out. Out a new I was like, oh, this shit is we don't, wild. We don't fuck with that technology All right, no cool, more. Cool. When you said it ain't but 40 million black people on, in the world, look at Marvin Gaye start looking at you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Marvin Gaye was like, man, this nigga. I is want it, a bro. woman that listens. <laughs> hey, bro, I found don't a woman. Hey, I knew I shouldn't have said, hey, y'all niggas set niggas up. I was like, why fly me sitting way over look there? Look at Marvin. Good, yeah. Marvin Gaye be judging niggas. <laughs> I get it. That's a mean. No, the, 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 me. Really, to be honest, Marvin Gaye made us realize he was there. It was like some shit had that went on, and we looked at We were like, hell no. And he was like, nigga, yeah. I told y'all. <laughs> I did try to tell y'all. <laughs> so we were like, we heard you, Bob. Oh, man. So you, you got a plan, Fly? I do. What should I say your plan? It ain't meant to be told to everybody. Oh. I really just want to know if you had one. Yes. And it's yeah. not only just. But that's what we need. And, and it's, not, and, and, and it's not only just a plan. It's a, I can say this. It's a group of people. Mm-hmm. Not only we we not have a plan, we also have a destination. There you go. Once we, because a lot of people want to be leaders, but where are you leading your people? Right. You feel me? You're going to be like, let's go over here. And then once they once we done fought so hard to get over here, yeah. then they're like, now what's next? Because I'm going to be honest, I want hold on. It's a lot of people that don't mind being guided. Mm-hmm. That don't mind being guided. And, and it's a lot of people that's having to say so. But we want to let people know that we respect your mm-hmm. opinion. And we're going to add your opinion to the agenda right. that we got. Now, when you out there fighting, you ain't just fighting for, oh, man, we fighting because y'all just want to be out here. Nah, man, I'm for adding my well, opinion to the agenda, nigga. Right. So I know they I'm with me. I'm fighting for my shit now. Nigga, I'm, like, I'm fighting for my shit now. Even yep. though we out here together, mm-hmm. nigga, we, we out here together. You dig what I'm saying? Right. If it's all of us in this room right now, nigga, if everybody write their problem on a piece of paper, nigga, and we put all, man, every you sound like problem. like a white bitch at the protest. Who? <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Right <laughs> because she doing that for show. I know, fuck You see what I'm saying? She doing that for show. She, she talking about some write this shit on the poster, and then you go home. Hmm. Like, we ain't, you, right. you talking about writing a problem. Right. I'm, I'm asking you what's your problem and what's your contact. You Brother, did. you dig what I'm saying? Cause not only I'm letting you know, nigga, your shit got a voice. Yeah. And and then you can come somewhere where you feel like you got a voice. 
You dig what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah, you yelling, but I'm, we finna show you how to sh- organize uh-huh. and structure that yelling. And I don't tell no grown man what to do, but I also suggest you, this is the time you use your rich friends for the resources as well. Hmm. Okay, we can move on. <laughs> we definitely need some resources and hmm. some opportunities. That's the only way you can fight a war. That's how the resources. bank started. That's how the, the, the or, or, or fund. Everything, nigga, it's You a can't fund. be president without resources. It's a fund. We have a fund. Where y'all getting this shit from? We have a fund. And it's more than just, resources is more than just money. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's real estate. It's it's not talk your shit. It's uh, lawyers. It's it's, it's police, access. Our our police. But officers. this how the, but you this, got four five homeboys but, from your hood in, in the police precinct. Shit. This is how this how the Black Wall Street shit came up, right? All right, we get a list of all the doctors, mm-hmm. all the mechanics, all the, all real the physicians, estate all the real estate all developers, the all the barbers, all the teachers, uh-huh. all the everything. <clears throat> and guess what? We don't have to go to the CVSs and these doctors and that. I was just telling my my photo day. I was like, man, I wish I had a doctor I can call. Right. I know a nigga. I know a doctor. Mm-hmm. So I can call this nigga for a cough. For, for, for anything. Hey, but I'm just been doing that since the beginning of time. House calls? Nigga. Ain't no black person ever had a house call from a doctor. That Talk shit like shit. it's on the movies. That shit is a real that thing. That shit is real life. That shit is a real thing. That's, That's how communities shit. be built, my yeah. nigga. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? I mean, how the we, hell if we get eight teachers and we come up with our own curriculum and we teach the kids? Come on. Who the fuck making up this curriculum? To tell you to teach the African American. What, what we didn't come up with a curriculum to tell you to go teach these white folks. We don't know shit about that. School is an institution that gets you prepared. It gets you prepared for jail. Huh? You know, school is to get you prepared for jail. If especially shit. black private, like private. I mean, uh, public schools, especially. Is he the, um, is you got to listen to all jail, everything jail I say. Jail or work, but go ahead. You got to do everything I say. You got to get up by the bell. Right. You got to sit still when I let you go. You mm. got to walk in a line. Mm-hmm. You got to eat chow together in a certain time. You got to go to the yard at recess. You got to get your physical fitness. Right. We're going to teach you everything we want you to do in order <coughs> to get a job. Right. We're not going to teach you how to live life. We're never going to talk about balancing your checkbook or balancing your accounts. We ain't going to talk about finance. We ain't going to never talk to you about none of that you. shit. I'm not, I'm not, not that. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna knock that, but let's change the narrative. Let's go. Let's change the narrative. Let's go. I'm with you. That's exactly what the fuck they did. Mm-hmm. But we still need order and it need to be structured. Not saying that was wrong. Let's use that uh, 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 demonstration. Mm-hmm. Let's use that, that blueprint. But then we educate them on. I, nigga, yeah, we eating at one o'clock, right. but we are teaching y'all. We are showing you a system that works <clears throat> amongst. Ugh. Shout out you LeBron because he already started that with the school right. he got. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it started off with that. He built a school. Hey, it ain't got 1,000 kids in that motherfucker, but got 150. Nigga, that's a that start. could change the world. 150 kids with your own teachers and your own curriculum. We passing these niggas. We ain't got to do no testing and be looking over no Scantron and shit. Mm-hmm. Y'all nigga know about us. Nigga, we talk. Nigga. Scantron, you going off, oh, sc- nigga. Go off. Nigga, Ooh, asphyxiation? Uh, nigga, nigga stand tall? Asphyxiation! Go off! Talk your shit! Go off, man! This shit is indispensable! <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo! Stop! Stop living in a. Uh, 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 hold up, hold up! You got a. Yeah. Pessimistic mindset. Run it again, run it again, run it again. Pessimistic no, 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 no. mindset. Yeah. Hold up, yeah. 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 Hold up, I thought yeah. it was a T in it. No, 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 no. It ain't no T. At the end, Hold at up. the end, at the end. I know it's pessimism. Yo, I, I know it's pessimism. Not not okay, leave the T out. Cause I was thinking optimistic. Okay, oh, okay, here we go. Pessimistic. You oh, bitch oh. you. You bitch you. you. Take that mindset out, man. Come on, man. We got to, we got to, we got to educate. Like, see, I. I don't mind listening to somebody if you gonna educate me. Like uh, you, you should not listen to someone that's not teaching you something. I don't mind. See, we got the we got the damn near let out niggas know to like ball players and you want to be a dope boy. You got the ambition to want to do that. Yeah. You got to have that same ambition to want to listen. So mm. a nigga be like, boy, I'm finna go listen to this nigga who up here who finna go speak. This nigga talking that shit. Nigga that he's he's he's, he's yeah, he wanna go. You like what? Man, that nigga be feeding a nigga so much knowledge, nigga. Nigga, the shit that I learned from these motherfuckers, man, and I implement that in my life, nigga. What? Hey, I, as, you, as I get older and realize shit, I'm like, nigga, I'm picking up. Like, I realize why they ain't want us to be smart. Because when we smart and we educated, mm-hmm. we understand that the system that they built don't work for us. Come on. It's not our system. It's we don't understand it's a system because the we're not educated. The system works because it was supposed to work this way. Right. It was made by the people the that's trap. benefiting. The trap. You feel what I'm saying? Put a system to trap they had. You feel me? Why? Or you scared to read a book? Told you, but don't read your chad will get killed. You'll get killed for reading a book. Knowledge. Now it, it's shit so hereditary, you don't even want to go to the library. Man, go on now, nigga, that shit is a building full of knowledge. 
that you walking past every fucking go get high and just look at some shit or just walk around you ain't even gotta read a book sometimes I take baby steps just go in there and walk around they might they might harass you excuse me sir hey hey shh bitch <laughs> i'm in the library i don't know where i'm going I'm just walking in faith. You hear me? <laughs> Some led me to come in this motherfucker and get a creative mindset. <laughs> hey, man, welcome back to the A5 South Show. <laughs> this nigga is going the fuck oh, off. Oh, he's going from Sunset, They're going to be like, Los, you I'm, just sitting there high. Like, nah, you got to understand. When this nigga go off on the rent, you on, just got to let him have it, man. Cool. I don't have that. You know, we just come I about know. like it's, that. It's not often that you in this mode. But yeah, you I hear when you talk the happiest I've been in months, my nigga, because that shit just give me energy because this is one of the first time people in your age range are feeling this way and speaking. And being about passionate it. about it. Man. But be passionate and also understand that if we going to do it, y'all, if we going to do it, let's not be one of the ones that do it just because when something happens or when something will, will, will. Do it for the let, ground. Let's do it. Right. Let's do it for a cause. Then after we know what the cause is, let's have a destination to take our people. Shit, the cause it's, is it, our lives. This is a turning point in cause. our lives. But this the thing though. This is our lives, but we gotta have a promised land. Like, and we shit gonna take our people to the here, promised land. Moving forward, we got to everything have one. changes. Don't just sell them a dream and a hope and you heard what the promised land was and you ain't a part of creating the promised land. When I say Black Wall Street, that's a promised land. You see what I'm saying? That's an area where we are defined as whatever we want to be. If you think you're a king and you're a pharaoh, nigga, go down there on Black Wall Street and watch how you feel like a king and a pharaoh, my nigga. Because that's the promised land. You over here don't need full territory. Nigga, they ain't, that shit ain't made for you. The energy wrong. The frequency wrong. The vibe is wrong because you're not wanted. You dig what I'm saying? Because the system that they built wasn't for you. Before you walk on down there on Black Wall Street, you can be whatever the fuck you want to be. Yeah. Dig what I'm saying? That's the promised land. Do what you want to do. Niggas need to be educated on that shit. But that's why I be loving hearing motherfuckers. Like, I don't care. Nah, I love hearing you say that shit. But, but this is what I'm saying. It, it, it took time for me to understand and grasp it and use it in, in, in my own life. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm like, you right. Because there's a lot of people at the crib that like, man, this shit ain't affecting me, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm woo 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 But yes, it is, bro. So the same thing. We yes, got to talk is. about the civil rights era and shit. It didn't affect us until we saw Rodney King. You right. feel what I'm saying? So it's the right. same way with you. You seen what was happening to uh, maybe a Trayvon Martin, the Alton Sterling, Philando Castile. I can keep going with the names. And I just watched. And I just watched the the repeated cycle mm -hmm. after everything. It's like, they, like it's the every. It's just the only yeah. thing they change is the name. They mm -hmm. give you the same information. Same story. They take the same time to delay the and media. I'm you what same else. fucking story, bro. <clears throat> you got black children. Right. So and and not only different. not only that, I know white people, so I can get an opinion where I got a, a source. What the fuck they saying over there? Since you supposed to be my friend, homie. Could get what? No, you my friend. Real shit. No, real no, shit. No, you my friend, nigga. Real you, shit. You infiltrate they shit. Yeah. How we do it? I got white friends, mm -hmm. nigga. What going on? What's being said? Man, I don't fucking know DC, man. But I promise you, man, this shit ain't right. <laughs> promise you, man. And guess what I tell them? That ain't no fuck enough, nigga. Yeah. Go dig. Fight Get out my us. face and dig. Fight. You dig what I'm saying? Because it ain't no fucking reason, my nigga. Get out my face and go dig. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Because if you was around my partner and they felt like punching your ass and I, I'm be like, hey, mm -hmm. hey, hold up. They're my little partner, bro. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Don't punch that man in the eye. What do he do to you? Like, fuck you mean, bro. <laughs> yeah, fuck you mean, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, what's up? We don't walk around with hate, my nigga. I'm you dig what I'm saying? Shit. So, but it took like for me to go listen to people to like me. Farrakhan and just go listen to leaders and understand the Malcolm X story and just understand the purpose. I understand people's lives and careers, but I'm trying to understand the purpose even for what the time frame, even with the Martin Luther King, not even with just those people, like the, the, the people who just died, right? I, I love history, but I, I love hidden history better. Yep. So the nigga who just died, right? I don't want to call the nigga, the, 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 the king, uh, John Lewis. John Lewis? John Lewis. John Lewis. John Lewis. John Lewis. Who, yeah, who just yeah, passed, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, off the credit. John Lewis. John Lewis. John Lewis. Who the light skinned nigga was? Who just passed? Oh, the No, no. But everybody is not Ooh, up on shit. Who cut this out? We don't no, know black. No, this is, Ooh, this is, this is, this is, it's a lot of people <laughs> in the house smoking like, but what the fuck? But who is it though? That thing, who are they? Mainer, how you spell Mainer? Huh? <laughs> Rap David. Rap David that passed. I know you were light skinned. Yeah. We had a lot of light skinned civil rights. No, 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 Joseph. 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 My bad. <laughs> I knew it was JL, though. <laughs> but I knew it was JL, though. I said John Lewis. My bad. My bad, John. My bad, John. It was JL, though. It was JL. 
You, you did. We we here. We here. All right. So so Joseph Law, right? Yeah. What was he? What was he? What was he? Uh, in, in, Southern Leadership Pressure Conference. SCLC. SCLC. But wasn't he part of the NAACB? Uh, he probably he was in all that shit. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he probably started that shit. Okay, but think, but think, but think about it like this. Yeah, he's in all that shit. <laughs> okay, okay, but think about it like this. When you, when I say history and we need to have the curriculum, when I say I love hidden, I love hearing the hidden history, the real shit that they not gonna tell us. So you got years of stories and knowledge that you need to tell to the next generation that need to hear this that they not gonna inform us on. You see what I'm saying? If you knew some of those stories when you were with Martin and you were with Malcolm and some real shit that y'all were talking about, man, niggas wanna hear that shit, man. What happened? Man, I remember when we was fighting for this cause, but we went at it with this approach and we would do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we want to hear that knowledge because now it makes us more strong and powerful because now we know our roots. Like, nigga, now we can go out there and even say, your perspective, your perspective, his perspective. Now, this is a young generation. Mm-hmm. Now we got the older generation perspective. Nigga, you remember when nigga Joseph Lyrad was out here? They like, nigga, Joseph nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck? How do he know that? Like, yeah, nigga, we tapped in, nigga. <laughs> yeah. We tapped in, nigga. We tapped in, nigga. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga Joseph Lyrad told us everything, yeah, nigga. Yeah. Now, and we ain't finna do none of that, nigga. Y'all, when we know so much shit, yeah. once we come at them with all this knowledge and power, bro, they gonna be like, bro, bro we unstoppable, but, bro. Which one of my camera dog? Uh, I don't care. Hold oh, no, on, this shit roll. Hey, look, I know it. <laughs> hey, all y'all young niggas with the Dracos and the little jeans, this the nigga you protect at all costs. You hear me? Yeah. This is the one you ride for. Okay, this this is your Nipsey. You understand what I'm saying? So this is the one. R- straight up. It's just getting to the point where niggas just getting tired, bro. And nigga, like I say, at the end of the day, you gotta understand that when you leave your house, you might not make it back home. Come on. So I understand that. So when I'm out here fighting, I'm risking my life. I, I ain't tripping on that because I got nieces and nephews out here. You feel me? I got my nephews out here. I don't want to get a call that nigga. You uh, officer put their knee on my nephew and, and I'm like, where at? <laughs> what? Right. Man, you think I'm gonna let this? Man, you crazy? You Come think on, I'm gonna let this shit slide? Man, you crazy? I'm gonna say it again. You think I'm gonna let this shit slide? <laughs> Bitch. Bet. Nobody gonna be able to stop. First of all, because I'm organized. Now my anger and frustration Lowry. is organized. You dig what I'm saying? I got a group of people that's behind me that understand <laughs> that other shit. It worked. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> we need something else. And we ready. We ready. Need something else. Damn, that man was 99 years old. Real talk. That's so much knowledge. That's so much knowledge, my nigga. NAACP Lifetime Achievement Award, Presidential Medal of Freedom, and he founded the Southern Christian. Leadership, leadership. Uh, now think about this. Coalition. He he founded the Southern Leader. What it is? SL what? Southern Christian Leadership Coalition. SCLC. I believe, right? Now, coalition. Why isn't the? I don't want to speak out of turn, but why isn't the SCLC more bigger? Yeah, it was. So you got to understand also. You got to understand also. A lot of the leaders that we had were getting attacked and murdered. So a lot of the organizations they had were falling down. That's why when you hit the head, the body. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You need individual leaders so they can't. That that goes back to that. So that's why these things you don't. You might have may have read about them in school, may have not, but you're not gonna know. But people can't not uh, can't unsee this on social media. It's there forever. You can't unsee this. But but that's what I'm saying. Not only am I getting instructed. To, 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 to make sure that a, a group of people is on the same par- uh, 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 same path. Right. It's also another group of people that's getting ordered and getting structured that's on the same path as, just like he, it's gotta be a, 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 a numerous of, 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 of leaders. You dig what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Not just mm-hmm. one. I wanna I want be able to go, hey man, we got Macon, all cities got a leader. Yep. Yeah. But they all got a chief. That when they get in the, you see what I'm saying? So it just won't be sloppy. That's, that's the mob. But see, that's what I'm saying. It that's all sounds good is. hypothetically, but you got to look at what's going on right now. Like this whole, all these protests right now that's going on, this whole movement has been hijacked and infiltrated by people who don't have the same agenda. Right. Nigga, you're not fighting because nigga, you just making, see looters. You see free shit. making all these things that you're it's saying up, 10 times harder to achieve because you do have people who came down there just with some fuck shit that ain't got nothing to do with none of that. Dressed up like what? They've been waiting for this. Dressed up like a group of people that have no 
organization. They have no, they have no structure. So, of course, you can just dress but up and do what you want to do. But that's what I'm trying to get you. you. That's what I'm do. telling you. The people who have infiltrated the movement and shit like that, they are more organized within the infiltration than the movement Because they are being told itself. to go infiltrate. Yeah. Right. Now they had the plan already before this happened. They were waiting right. on it. We we are reacting to it. They were waiting on it. That's why if we march, you can't march with, you, you can march with us. Not saying you can't, but you just can't just, but first of all, you're not going to walk when the army walk. Yeah. You don't just, you sit there and watch like, where the fuck they going? You don't go over there and be like, boy, I used to be an army vet too. Let me got down. You know what I mean? Hey, boy, you better, boy, you better, you better, you better. Yeah, all right, say no more. Walk so your look. bitch ass back <laughs> on the <cross. laughs> Better walk your bitch ass back on the cross street. Yeah. You know it's, what I'm saying? Because like, we down here like with a, a purpose. It's like a fraternity. I'm in a fraternity. Now, you can tell me you're in my fraternity, but I got a series of questions I need to ask you first before I Because he up I under a chapter, you. right? Okay. Yeah. D- yeah. 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 Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I ain't want no, that don't mean I do my history. You understand you what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You may not be for real. You could just be saying that shit, but I can find out. So we got to have the same thing. But just like, just like I fought with a, a selected group of people mm-hmm. and I'm not one of y'all, that's power. I have a source. Hey, brother, aren't you with a certain organization? Right. Right. I like how y'all are structured. And get what? Mm-hmm. Me and you are in a certain organization. Now you can lead another certain organization up under the same um, guideline. Talk your you shit. You dig what I'm saying? But we got to be on the same accord, man. Talk your shit. For real, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, who the hell told y'all niggas go down there, man? Who the hell is orchestrating all this shit, man? Come on, man. When them folk move, when them folk move. Just like how you say the SCLC, it passed on, or the NAACP end up somebody white took the name, owned the name. Mm-hmm. You not, you just can't infiltrate. That, I'm I'm I'm, I'm speaking how I fuck with the mud, just like the nation is Islam, right? Mm-hmm. The way they move, when they come out, you just can't walk in between them folks. You know not you, to. You know who the fuck the nation is Islam, because they dress in a certain way, mm-hmm. they're talking in a certain manner, they moving and you see what I'm saying? I take it a step further. All them crackers that had them ARs down at the state house, they didn't move back. They ain't move at them. It's a different, it's a different drill. It's a different drill than with your fist up than when a nigga you got the strap on. It's a way you different shoot that look. nigga with that strap. It's respect. The rest of them it ain't got nothing to do with color then. It's respect. It's respect. It's respect. You I'm, feel what I'm I respect saying? you enough not to agitate you. Because if I agitate you, I and, feel like it's going to go down. And you showing your right, but you feel, yeah. you feel safe because you know them folk on your side. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to... I, 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 the only way I'm going to feel safe is because I got a gang, a group of people that's speaking the action that I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He going to speak it, but we going to act it out. It's a different. So you got a thousand people that's talking all up at one time. The protests look great because y'all speaking for a cause, but right. it's too much talking where they not getting the message. And you don't have an army down there protecting y'all. It's a down there at the protest today. I was just walking amongst the people, just checking it out, getting the vibe. The folk got the army down there, the folk loaded, them folk scrapped up, whoop de whoop. Who down there protecting them protest people? Who protecting them protest people? For when them folks start shooting y'all niggas with them damn, them, 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 them damn rubber bullets and shit like that. the cold and shit. <laughs> Half them niggas in the army or in the National Guard that's down there gonna have to sleep on them same streets when they get out the army. Come on, man. They gonna be homeless. The American not finna hey, take care of you. Hey, you just said some powerful shit. He right definitely there. did. American that. don't care about you, bro. He definitely said that. Could have I too. seen so many homeless veterans. I'm like, damn, this how they treat y'all. You. We this how they treat you. y'all. This how you treat your Indians? Yeah. Them niggas go to war for you. And you, no, this is a particular part that you always got a brother. You always got a resource. This ain't no, like I said, if I know somebody, brother. But we so powerful and if we are connected with anyone. Oh, you finna go to Kentucky? Boy, I got a group of people that'll take care of you. Yeah. Oh, you finna go somewhere else? Oh, boy, it's a community up there that'll take care of you. My nigga, the same thing with the fraternity. <laughs> I was in college. I can drive to damn near any school and know I had something to eat and somewhere to sleep just because of my fraternity. I ain't even had to call ahead. I could just pull up. Why can't it be like that? It can't, it can't. But that's what I'm saying. It can. Why it, can. it can't? No, because you, uh, you didn't know. You didn't know. You, they, they didn't know or it wasn't people we who tried were one willing way. to be guided. Yeah. Because once you see a movement, people tend to adapt. Mm-hmm. So that's why I say it takes time. Because when motherfuckers be like, yeah, it took time. Well, it took, look, you got to think about how long we've been fighting. And it took time for us to yeah. actually come together. Like how you said, the Black <clears throat> Panther movement was so strong, mm-hmm. but they saw how strong it was. They come after every strong so, movement. So, but you got to understand, we got to be prepared that if something happens, do not be scared and let the body fall. Can then that mean we have let all this go down for nothing. They're going to kill you anyway, scared or brave. Right. So continue. So be, if we would have had another Malcolm and another Martin right there ready, bop, bop, nigga Martin the third, ready. 
we got to accept, we got to accept leaders better though. Yeah, I mean, we roast the shit out of every leader we got. We <laughs> don't yeah. give a fuck. But, but you know, but you know, that's We as the people got to be more respectful. That comes from hate, though. I think so, dog. We got to stop roasting hate, our though. leaders, they do, man. bro. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you who never get no respect. Jesse Jackson don't Niggas never don't get like no respect. Niggas don't like nobody, bro. No, no, no. Niggas don't like everybody. No, no, no. Jesse don't get no respect because Jesse did a lot of low down dirty ass. Nuts off. Motherfucking yeah, shit. I don't fuck hey, with Jesse even either. before all that, he got Dr. King killed. Jesse, he yeah, been, yeah. Jesse did a lot of dirty motherfucking <laughs> shit. Yeah, Jesse set Dr. King up. Yeah, yeah. But see, that go to show that I, not only another color would infiltrate, but your own brother would, and will forget the purpose and the cause mm -hmm. because you want the limelight. This is not something that is fame yeah. uh, 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 absorbing, That's, is, is, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna get uh, recognized from this. We don't yeah. care about all that. We're trying to lead you to the promised land. We gotta stop being petty. Uh, uh, Come Harriet Tubman wasn't looking for no fame. Right. She only looked for motherfuckers who was on the same mood. She would, she would kill. Let me ask you this. Let me ask I would tell you this, but she'd murk your ass if you wasn't with that shit. Fly. Or if you was finna try to fuck this whole plan up. Yeah. Boy, you gonna take they side, boy. I, I, matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do what they gonna do to you then. You talking about getting famous. How you feel about people saying all the celebrities are canceled and all these people coming out saying saying all the wrong but shit? Only, only because they have a movement and I think people, like I say, people wanna be guided. So somebody that inspire you and you feel like they not saying nothing about you, like where's the inspiration? Right. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But I understand when a celebrity talk, he wanna come from a place of facts and purpose. Right. And he don't want to just seem to be talking. Exactly. Or he don't, because understand, when you put yourself on the political side, you're there. Now you got to really, you got to do this shit. You, you got to do that shit. You can't just be like, you're there now. Once well, you open your mouth up, it's like, yeah. all right, nigga. If it's a protest going on, mm -hmm. we got to do something. If right. you're going to have a plan, we need the DBC. Because I, I got a tour with somebody who was like, well, I ain't see you. I said, damn, first of all, just because you ain't see me protesting and being loud don't mean I protest. I ain't never protested or I ain't for the people. Right. Now, when the corona mm. hit, I came out of my pocket and, and fed my whole neighborhood. This ain't got nothing to do with, we yeah. talking about a plan after that. Mm -hmm. We hear y'all, but where you going to lead the people? We need a promised land. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Flip side of that, the people are who make the celebrity. So, we, so the people need to stop putting so much onus on a celebrity. A celebrity is nothing more than someone that could do something very well mm -hmm. to the point that people come to see them and want to see what they're doing. Right, and right. That is, so so we shouldn't it. put them to be civil his rights leaders. His intellect on a civil rights standpoint, is, it might not be half. Somebody you asked me why, the, why I don't post what I do for the community. I was like, what the hell does that have to do? What's that going to do? But motherfucker make it feel like But if you did not, do it, then they would say that you're you not being it. genuine. You're right? not being genuine. But this is my only part take on I didn't on. know that until all of this happened. This, yeah, this is my real. only part take on when I'm like, you know and what? Felt like that. Understandable, because now it's to the point where it's like, all right, I'm black. Like, this shit is just out of hand. And it's to the point where I always been down for, I'm DC to the motherfucker, full of rock. Once I right. stand for some shit, then I'm on it. I love to represent I something. That. Like, I love that type of shit. When I step out, they gonna be like, oh, they go them boys. Who them boys? <laughs> you the motherfucking boys. Yeah. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? I stand for some. You dig what I'm saying? So I always been down for that shit. And I feel like the more and more this shit tap in, mm -hmm. it's more so it's like, you know what? <clears throat> it's time. It's to the point where it's like, you know what? It's, 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 it's time. Because I see other shit and I've heard about other organizations and when you mm -hmm. see them and the, the power of just the name and yeah. the, the force. So when My they nigga, walk in, you know not to fuck with what them. Going through right now, what you're going through right now is the definition of woke. The supreme definition. You finally <laughs> awake. So I was asleep. Yeah. You've been it's sleep. okay. You've you been asleep, right. though. You That's why I ain't cut you off. Yeah, you you got it. <laughs> that nigga done woke up. Nigga woke up. <laughs> Fly woke up. That's why, he, that's, that's why that nigga going crazy. But, but you know what? I'm this glad, is what I'm woke glad, me. I'm glad, I'm glad it happened like this now versus when when I was like on pill popping day. You feel me? Boy. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite gun back then? Any gun I get my hands on. <laughs> that bit work. <laughs> Did that bit go? That bit, papa, I need that bit to work. Like, 
papa, pa, I can't let it say, papa, and it jam. Mm-hmm. Do that in word, though. Pa, 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 pa. You know, shoot out, shoot out and say, pause, and you just can't, ta, 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 ta. They get that nigga hiding the whole time. Hey, be, like, be real with them people, DC. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? DC, be real with these people. Hey, man, they got the pa, pa, pa. But I'm saying, be pa, real, pa. ain't no shootout like that. All shootouts is going this way or behind the car. If a nigga scared. Bro, you, you didn't you didn't shoot shout out to, towards somebody. Bro, yeah, you know, I had a nigga reverse. Come on, I'm like, I ain't hey, saying John Gotti. No, 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 no. Don't, don't say that. Excuse I'm, me. I'm not John Gotti. I'm not. I'm coming peace. I, but what I'm saying is, when that time okay, is that. is yeah. time, yeah. you got to be able to protect yeah. yourself and understand how to control the situation. Come on. What I'm saying is, I got some niggas off my ass who thought they was finna get yeah. on me yeah. and. I'm not no killer. I ain't saying I'm I no killer, th- I but I know how to get a nigga. You know what I'm saying? I know how to, you know what I mean? Yeah, get so off of you. a nigga thought he was finna do something to me, and I'm just like, no, pa 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 pa, and I say mine mm-hmm. just in case you had some more. Come on, and you went somewhere else. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> died, but you got the match. You, got you know what's <laughs> up. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, you know so what's it's, up. So it's like we gotta have a, a, just a, a just a force for us because we don't have an army for black people. It's a lot of organizations, but they're not our army. So I'm, I'm a different, like, I, I, I'm willing to be like, okay, when you see him, that's the, or when you see them particular people, it's an army, but for the promised land. You see what I'm saying? Like, just like how you say, it's like you in the fraternity, right? Right. And you know, every, well, every, every time you go to another state, you scrape, you good. Mm-hmm. That's at somebody's house, you mm-hmm. good, or y'all got a selected spot with the fraternity. Yeah. Cool. One phone call. Now, what if we stretch this same foundation to blocks? Now, not only your fraternity owns this house, it owns the next block. Mm-hmm. And the next street over and the next street over. And not only you are a comedian, first of all, niggas in your fraternity, just like with your family. Oh boy, we got a nigga that's in the entertainment. <laughs> Boom. That's mm-hmm. a source. Whoever's a part of that fraternity and whatever you do in your goddamn profession, nigga, you are a source. We use, I'm telling you, we do that. Like we know a nigga that's a police officer. We know somebody that's going to be a sheriff. You know somebody that's going to be a judge or know a judge. You know somebody that knows somebody. And that's how white people got this, they got control of the country. But they, they what I'm saying. And like you say, when they got control of the country, they built a so-called system for they people. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Part of their system was, Got a man, word for you. We, Infrastructure. Infrastructure. Boom. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't want to say the promised land, because I ain't want the promised land. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the promised land. Boy. They stole our motherfucking idea. <laughs> that wasn't the promised land. They lied. They lied. Hey, boy, y'all gonna do that? Come on, we gonna yeah. some free, some free land over here. Yeah. So we get over here, you like, boy, y'all nigga lied. Boy, what the fuck? You feel me? So it like, we got this you that same goddamn mentality yeah. that what, you know what I'm saying, what we got, it just build us. Niggas know they lied on the boat. Land. Yeah. Huh? Niggas know they lied on the boat. Man, what? Once you got the boat. Oh, oh, shit. Hey! Anytime you gotta get some niggas chained, then take them somewhere. That means he didn't want to go. Mm-hmm. Oh nah. So some people were, ch- some Africans <laughs> were chained in the middle of the ocean. They were they were walked onto the boat by other Africans. But that's a that oh yeah, you know when niggas. Hour. But then that's when them <laughs> niggas that when I say they infiltrated the system. Mm-hmm. So you had niggas who had a plan, and then niggas who infiltrated the system just so they could live better to please another particular group of people. But we woke now. We woke. We extra woke. Hey man, mm-hmm. y'all been going in for a minute, bro. I'm this straight. shit get fun after a minute, bro. That's why I really started like doing that shit though, cause I can take like my aggression and my like hood tactics and like ugh. Use them for good. And use them for good. <laughs> you feel me? I told my girl before I love, I ain't gonna lie. I love white people, I love y'all, but I told my girl, I said, I'm gonna tell you how many white people I knock out today. <laughs> I get you, man. Get your man, love. I can't, man. I love it to death. You hear hey, me? I ran out of all I I'm gonna tell you how many people I got today. You see me? But I went down with the intention of peace. You feel me? Yeah, hey, okay. Now, now is not the time. Nah, man. It's 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 definitely the time. Just for, it just for just to get together, bro. You feel me? I'm just educating. Like yeah. it's to the time where I wanna know whatever, like. I'm intrigued by another person's mm. intellect. You what? I'm intrigued. Come on, nigga. By another person's I intellect. Work. I have been yes. reading my nigga. My nigga you get what I see. I, 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 I always I, appreciate I am going to be the, uh, a new paradigm for the next generation. Woo! Woo! I got this. Hey! God damn. Hey! Hey! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! 
Oh, no, and but, guess but, what? But, I learned that from my boy T.D.J. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, I did. <laughs> I said, Paddle? I said, Paddle? I said, ooh, I got to get that one. I ain't hey. gonna, I ain't gonna, hey. Enthusiasm works. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Wow, hey, hey, I've been, been watching them, bro. Hey, man, with that being said, Shit, that's it right there. Well, we don't have to say no more. Gang shit. Hey, man. This has been another episode of the 85 South Show. My nigga DC is not playing with y'all. You heard him. Yes, bro. When I say, bro, it's to the point where I'm like, it's so serious when it's like, you know it's serious because I ask God to guide my steps. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, so wherever I'm at, I know for a fact, I'm like, all right, let me figure out what's going on. Because if I'm, my feet place me here, I need to know what's going on. You see what I'm saying? Right. So every time I'm, I'm like, you somebody, you talking the same shit. You, he get on the phone with somebody from the outside, just said the same shit we just conversated on, and get on another. They done, they saying the same. I'm like, hmm, what do I need to do mm-hmm. in order for me to, you know what I'm saying? Bet. Say no more. Well, there it is, man. Say no more. We about to get up out this bitch, man. Yeah, we got sure. curfew and shit. <laughs> Real talk. Hey, man. Okay. This has been another episode of 85 South Show. It is <laughs> what it is. Stay black and don't ever change Quit that. that. I ain't gonna lie. Every time I look around, I see people be having wild as good buzz. You know what I'm saying? They spending two, three hundreds of dollars, then they lose them, and then still gonna spend two, three more hundred dollars on some more hit buzz. But guess what? We ain't giving back to the community. But I think it's time, you know why? <laughs> My boy Ray J got some wireless hit bugs. Raycon latest model, E25, it's the best one yet. It got six hours of playtime, Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a compact design that gets you a nice isolated fit. Mm-hmm. For those who know what that means. And guess how much they cost? You ain't gonna believe it. Nope, not 150. Mm-mm. Not a hundred dollars. No, sir, keep going down. No, not twenty dollars. No. Go back up with your cheap ass. Eighty dollars. Yes, sir. You know what you can do? Get 15% off. How can you do that? By Raycon.com slash 85 South.